now back to your regularly scheduled program. Oh, hey there, I didn't know you were standing there. Listen, I'm sorry for the interruption in the video. Fresh just put me in charge to make sure that there is no player haters getting through on the video, okay? And the way I'm confirming that is, is if you haven't already, man, just do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And after you hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that like button because they right side by side anyway. You knock those two things down, that'll give me the confirmation I need to make sure that you ain't a player hater because it's a player hater free zone over here, okay? So I'll give you a couple minutes to go ahead and do that. Okay there, player. I appreciate you, man. You go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video, all right? What's good, YouTube, man? Thank y'all for tuning in to I Am Fresh. And we are back at it again with another video. And to my Fresh fam, thank y'all so much for always tuning in with your boy. Okay. As you can tell by the title of the video, yes, this is going to be the first shots of this bad boy right here. Yes, sir. This is my Smith & Wesson M&P 10 chambered in 308. Woo! Wee! I finally got this bad boy to the range and I must say man for a sub thousand dollar AR-10 platform um, it really just doesn't get any better than this without sacrificing quality. This is simply just a great entry level platform if you're trying to get into that 308 space and you were looking for just a good AR-10. The Smith & Wesson M&P 10 is definitely the way to go. Typically when you get into the entry level or the budget space you tend to kind of run that risk of some quality issues or some reliability issues and that just isn't the case with this mp10 right here man this thing is absolutely phenomenal one thing i like about it a lot um being in this 16 inch platform is it's very versatile i mean this is this is just a, a platform that has a lot of multi-use functionality okay you can use this for hunting if you went to hunting um, if you went to some long distance shooting um, you can definitely get into that i would not put this up against any type of precision or bolt action rifles rifles that's made for accuracy that's not going to be this but however if you want to get off you know some five six hundred seven hundred even maybe even a thousand yard shots um, with this platform, I can definitely see this thing being very capable. Um, I'm not trained enough. I don't have enough experience um, to pull that off, but I definitely can see somebody with the experience taking this thing the distance with no problem. It's a phenomenal range gun, as well as it's great for any type of security detail or defensive situations. But what I really want to get into is the TARC. And what is that? Trigger, accuracy, reliability, and capacity. So let's start off with the trigger. As you can see, there's no magazine in the rifle. And as you can see, the chamber is clear. Safety first. So the trigger on here is just your simple mil spec trigger. Um, on my Smith & Wesson M&P 15 pistol, it's got a flat single stage trigger that I absolutely fell in love with. And I can see that being very beneficial to this platform as well too. So I definitely wanna explore um, potentially swapping out this trigger. However, out the box, mil spec factory trigger, is not necessarily bad. So as you can see, we got a fresh charge on this thing. I'll bring it close. We'll check out that trigger pull. Faint amount of creep there. You get to that wall. Very tactile, very audible break right there. Very clean. So again, if you're not really big on triggers, this trigger is perfectly fine. But I mean, out the box, this thing is pretty good. It's good to go. Um, like I said, I'm just spoiled from my M&P 15 pistol. That flat single stage trigger is absolutely nasty. So I want to kind of explore that option on this platform as well too, just to get the most out of it. Let's talk about the accuracy. So again, as I mentioned earlier, um, this is not your precision rifle. If you're looking for a rifle that you're going to do, you know, less than an inch groups at 
you know, four or 500 yards and stuff like that, I would explore something more expensive, something more built for that, your bolt actions, your, your precision rifles and things of that nature. So this is not designed and built for that. That's not the purpose of this. Again, I, like I said before, this is like a multi-use rifle right here. This covers a lot of bases. So the accuracy is good. Once I got this scope dialed in, I was able to maintain easily anywhere from an inch to two inch groups easy on um, pushing out to about 100 yards with no problems. Let's talk about the reliability. The reliability is definitely there on this platform. I mean, I have plenty of Smith & Wesson products and I still haven't run into a reliability issue. Um, I didn't have absolutely any issues when cycling the right ammo. Everything cycled flawlessly with absolutely zero issues. Definitely a reliable platform. Let's get into the capacity. The capacity here is not an issue at all. Again, on this is an AR-10 platform um, and Smith & Wesson uses uh, Magpul magazines. As you can see, I got a YouTube compliant 20 round magazine right here by Magpul. And I also have a YouTube compliant 25 round magazine. They also have a plethora of other magazines um, and drums as well too. On their AR platforms, you're able to use Magpul mags and a plethora of other brands as well too. So the capacity is there. And some extra 308 definitely can't hurt. Yes. Overall, in a nutshell, man, it's just a damn good rifle. Absolutely enjoyed it, and this thing superseded my expectations. And I'm just happy that I was able to get my hands on it to bring it to you all for a review. But wait. There's more. As a bonus, remember I told you guys I was gonna mount the uh, Monstrum on here to see how this thing perform. Man, this thing is absolutely phenomenal and it's loaded with features. Listen, let me tell you something. I was surprised on how official this scope was for the price, man. I was absolutely blown away. It's a 412 by 44. And let me tell you, the magnification on this thing is absolutely spectacular. Very clear lens hold zero once you got this thing dialed in and as you can see this front dial here allows you to adjust from 50 yards and then as you can see you have the 500 all the way out to the infinity sign so you can probably push out to about a thousand yards on this scope right here you also have this lever here that will allow you to zoom in and out of magnification as well up top no tools needed no flathead screwdriver you're able to turn the clicks with just your hands which is what i really like because a lot of my other scopes you have to use a flathead or an allen key um, to adjust and sometimes i forget my tools and that could just be a pain in the butt when you all the way at the range and you can't adjust your scope so you're able to adjust this by hand and i really like that a lot that's super convenient and not to mention on the side here you're able to change out and adjust the illumination of the crosshair reticle inside the scope you can adjust this from one to five power, five being the brightest, one being the dimmest. You have two color options such as red, and then you have the green. Listen, guys, this setup right here, pristine. And not to mention I got those angle backup iron flip up sights as well. You can't lose, man, you can't lose. Listen, if you all enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about this bad boy. Is it a cop or a drop? And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the Fresh Fan, because I'm telling y'all, we ain't going nowhere, man. But until the next time, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace.